Ever wonder what to do with those old keepsakes you find in Bubby and Zadie's closet? Well, if they have something to do with Judaism, they might be worth something. Jonathan Greenstein has been called the Indiana Jones of Judaica and the Menorah Man. But funny nicknames aside, Greenstein is pretty serious about what he does. His little shop in the Orthodox enclave of Cedarhurst, just outside of New York City, is one of the only auction houses in the world solely dedicated to the sale of what is known as Judaica. Judaica is not necessarily defined by a Jewish ritual object, but anything that's associated or comes close to or touches the Jewish religion. For Greenstein, who grew up in Brooklyn, his interest started with a job working at an antique store while still in high school. Antique store was in the middle of the heart of the Russian, Eastern European, old lady, Alta Cocker neighborhood. Silver was, at the time, almost $40 an ounce. So every little old lady was running in to sell their antique kiddish cup and menorah. In fact, he became so enamored with the objects that came through the store that he made a special arrangement with his boss. The owner of the place was not Jewish, uh, but he felt a very deep connection that these things shouldn't be melted down. So um, I made a deal with him that he could pay me in Judaica and I continue to vacuum and learn from him. Spent a few years as an amateur collector before starting the auction house about 10 years ago. Soon, he was holding major auctions in Manhattan and auctioning off pieces that fetched six figures. We've handled probably close to 100,000 pieces. Um, anything, any major piece of antique Jewish ritual art that trades in this country, you know, comes through here. Uh, a lot of the minor stuff also. Now, most of the auction activity happens online expanding their reach beyond the New York area. Due to the nature of his business, Greenstein has become highly skilled at spotting forgeries. You take a simple cup and you have somebody engraved, you know, Shabbos Kodesh, the Holy Sabbath, and they've just made another $800 in profits. So my job is to tell the difference between the real and the not real. Greenstein also fields a variety of questions from people over the internet who want to see if the items they've bought or found are the real thing. Real authentic Ju Judaica is exceptionally rare. Uh, the fact that it's exceptionally rare gives reason for people to fake and forger and want to deceive. But when items are authentic, they can in some cases be quite valuable. He estimates the highest value object he ever bought was a spice box worth half a million dollars. But it's the simpler objects that reveal something about Jewish life in bygone eras that he really treasures. For every one, you know, every one major spice box, there's two or three million simple Jews that just slept through life, lighting the Shabbos candles every Shabbos, making Kiddush on their Kiddush cup every Shabbos. And that was the true Jewish experience. After all the years spent buying and selling Judaica, Greenstein decided he wanted to design some of his own. So now you can buy handmade sterling silver kiddush cups and charity boxes from the shop directly. And who knows, maybe in 100 years, they'll be worth 10 times what you paid for them. This is Ira Spitzer for JN1 in New York.